हेलो सर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मास लेंथ एंड टाइम आर द एस आई बेस क्वान्टिटीज स्टेट टू अदर बेस क्वान्टिटीज सो मास इज द बेस क्वान्टिटी विच इज यूनिट ऑफ किलोग्राम लेंथ इज ए बेस क्वान्टिटी विच इज यूनिट ऑफ मीटर एंड टाइम इज ए बेस क्वान्टिटी विच इज यूनिट ऑफ सेकेंड सो देर आर अदर बेस क्वान्टिटी विच इज रिटन एज टेम्परेचर इज ए बेस क्वान्टिटी एंड इज ए यूनिट ऑफ कैलविन एंड अदर बेस क्वान्टिटी इज करेंट बेस क्वांटिटी इन यूनिट्स ऑफ एम्पियर सो द बी पार्ट इज अ मास एम इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द एंड ऑफ द स्प्रिंग दैट इज हैंगिंग वर्टिकली एज शोन इन फिगर 1.1 द मास इज मेड टू ऑसिलेट वर्टिकली ओके द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द ऑसिलेशन ऑफ द मास इज टी द पीरियड टी इज गिवन बाय टी इक्वल टू सी रूट एम अपॉन के वेयर सी इज अ कांस्टेंट एंड के इज स्प्रिंग कांस्टेंट सो दैट सी हैज नो यूनिट्स okay so uh, for k because it is a spring constant so spring constant k is usually defined f from the hooke's law it is f equal to minus kx so k is the spring constant so the units are for the if you want to find and x is the basically how much stretch has been done for uh, for the spring so it is a unit of length so for the k unit will be 4 upon x that means force upon length and the units of the force are basically defined from the newton second law m into a kgra meter s minus 2 so the for k units will be kgra meter s minus 2 upon m so meter meter will cancel out it will be kgra s minus 2 okay for m is the mass so it will have units of kgra okay so for c we can write because c is a constant k is a spring constant so that c has no unit so c for c will have t divided by root m upon k so t has a units of time period so it will be second upon root m so m is basically mass kgra and it is kgra for kgra s minus so the kgra kgra will cancel out So it will be s upon root one upon s minus two. So under root of s minus two will be only s minus one. So that means s upon one upon s minus one. So we will flip flip it over. So that can be written as if you write here, c will be s into s minus one. So it will be one. So that means it is a unitless quantity. So it will be proved so that c is no unit. in the another way we can also done like that t is a unit of second and root m by k is a units of also the second so if say both units lhs and rhs have the units of second so that means they will have no units so that way we can also do thank you